So I'm going to actually, let's turn off the glass for right now. Let's turn the paint back on. Let's also turn the um, cloth and the particles back on just since they're nearby um, this uh, object. I'm just going to look through camera one like so. And I'm going to undo this split view. We're just going to go back to single view like that. Um, and here I might actually uh, just try to split. I'm going to reverse this um, reverse this view uh, by holding down Alt and clicking on the burger and then releasing Alt and clicking the burger again to put my render view on the left hand side. And we'll kind of zoom in down here where the um, where the paint splashes and I'm just shift dragging to get a marquee around the paint splash. And let's fire up a render here and see what we got. It looks like it's all, it doesn't look like a material is applied to it, but I'm going to just double check because I think we may have assigned something to it. No, we didn't. Our material slot's empty here, so let's just create another material for our paint. I'm going to come over here to the matte context, jump up there, and here I'll create another RS Material Builder. RS Material Builder. And here I'll just rename this one Paint. And let's just dive inside here. And in my main project, I think I use the old uh, Redshift material, but this is such a simple material that I'm just going to use the standard material and just assign a nice deep orange color like we had before. And let's just drag that paint into the viewport onto the paint. And that you can see that assigns that up here. Um, and then let's just uh, turn off the IPR and then turn it back on. And there we've got our paint looking nice and orangey. So that's looking good. I think what I did in my main project was I added a, an additional rim light to uh, hit th this paint specifically. So uh, maybe let's do that real quick. Um, it doesn't seem like it really needs it in this in this project, but I'm just going to do it. Um, I'm going to go over here to my view and I'm going to make sure my lock is unticked. So I'm not actually pulling my camera along with it, but I'm going to just orbit around back behind this um, this paint and you can see it's updating my camera view over here. I'm going to just prevent that by switching back to camera one. So that just kind of fixed the camera view over here. And then I'm just going to just turn the render off for right now, but I'm going to go, uh, back here behind the paint and kind of zoom in, center it in my view and then go to the redshift shelf, which if you don't have the redshift shelf, um, it's, and if you hit this plus icon, go under shelves and say, um, you know, select the redshift shelf right here. Um, so once I have this shelf up, I'm going to um, control click on a redshift light. You can see that puts a redshift light in my scene. Um, I've got the, I'm making sure the lock is ticked here and then I might just push in a little bit on it like so. And let's just render and see what we got going on here now. You can see it's added just a little bit of um, rim lighting to the paint down here. Um, I might just adjust the spread and the intensity of this light. Uh, switching back to my main view, I'm going to switch back to camera one and untick the lock. And then I'm going to change the shape of this light. So this uh, light that was created here, I'm just going to label this the um, paint rim. And I'm going to change it to, let's go to the light tab right here and choose a disc shape like so. And then I'm going to just reduce the size of that disc uh, by about half, let's say point, bringing it down to point 0.4. I'm just middle mouse clicking and dragging on the ladder till I get a value of point 0.4 everywhere. And then uh, let's just reduce the spread to something like point 0.1 something, something like that. So we're getting a lot of extra uh, bouncing going on in there uh, like so. And yeah, we'll just call that good for now. And let's move on to rendering the uh, the pyro surface in the middle here. It's going to stop the render. 